Hey everybody, so I'm back with another video and this one I'm hoping is going to be shorter than my other ones because I really just have like some quick thoughts to get off my chest. Okay, so this is going to be called Million Man March versus Everybody and the reason this is is because, okay, first let me start off by saying this. Um, there are people who I know that are not going to the Million Man March, and there are reasons that I know that people don't want to go to the Million Man March that I understand based off of their own criticisms for past years or whatever, whatever reasons. And then I also have my own reasons for wanting to go this year. And, um, this is not a video to be, to try to encourage people to go to the Million Man March because I think that people's reasons for not wanting to go what i've heard thus far seem to be very valid i have my own reasons for going but what this is to say is that what i realized though is that faircon has been promoting million man march for a while now people don't know about it it's been big everybody know 10 10 15 you know justice or else everybody knows about it i'm not gonna say everybody everybody but i know that they know about it so coincidence that the BET awards is on the same day as the million man march or no I would like to think not and uh okay next point my school their alumni get together come back homecoming or whatever is the same day as the million man march for black students and I guess my whole thing about that is Kawinky Dink or no uh, I, I, make your own decision I guess but at the end of the day I will say this anybody who is black conscious or has some kind of conscious around the social issues that are going on right now know about the million man march whether they're going or not has been like a very thought out decision but the fact that there are so many people that are being like maneuvered on a conveyor belt to just go to the BT awards or to watch the BT awards or to go to alumni reunions. Black students going to alumni reunions during a Million Man March. The fact that that is even a thing is kind of crazy. The fact that our school scheduled it on the same day is crazy. It shows either their lack of diversity efforts or that they doing exactly what they want to do. So, I mean, I guess you can make the choice yourself. But I guess what I'm trying to say is this. If you're not going to the Million Man March, let it be real reason that you're not going to the Million Man March. I really hope that, like, we're not being so blind to the fact that they are putting entertainment over an actual mission and purpose. The fact that the BET Awards, BET... Black entertainment television that's not even owned by a black person is putting on the BET Awards, which is going to get black artists there, black celebrities there, black people there, black views, everything. And of course, if people have already signed a contract a year ago for the show, and then they find out that the date is this date, and it's the same day as the Million Man March. Oh, but you didn't already sign a contract. So what does that do? But I already separate our communi community even more. Same thing with having a alumni reunion, a black alumni reunion, the same freaking day or weekend as the freaking Million Man March. So you just took all these black intellectuals away from a space that they could be used. And a lot of these people haven't thought twice about the Million Man March. Some of them don't know. And I guess that's what I'm here for. I'm here to talk about it. Because I just want us to be aware of these subtle things that they place in front of us 
where a lot of times let's watch out for us choosing a social life over the life that's actually going to help us get somewhere. Like, life is not supposed to be fun. Not until you actually reach your point of liberation. And there is a march going on that's called Justice or Else. And people rather go have fun for the weekend. I mean, if your reasons are valid, like I said, cool. But let us not be drawn into certain things on a conveyor belt. Let us participate in things because we fully are aware of what's going on and we fully want to participate in that given that we are fully aware of the big picture. <clears throat> we got to have our third eye open. That's really the bottom line. This video doesn't have as much spark to it, but... Really, these are just some thoughts because I really can't believe they do that. They do us like this, man. Like, <laughs> and the fact that we be so blind to it is crazy to me. But yeah, hopefully, this kind of woke some people up, and I'm sure that this is people that's been woke before I even said all of this. But I hope y'all have a good day. I hope whatever y'all choose to do on 10, 10, 15 is really what in your heart says that should be done, whatever that may be. If it's partying, whatever. If it's going to the march, whatever. If it's building in some other kind of way, whatever. Props to everybody following their spirit. All right. I'm going to go.